Hey guys, so today we're talking all about turtlenecks. What's up guys, welcome back to Gents Lounge. I'm George, this is Blake. If you have not hit that subscribe button yet, hit that right now. We are here every week talking about men's style tips and everything from whiskey, cigars, fashion, travel. Cheese. Yeah, cheese, a little bit of everything. So today we're talking about the turtleneck. Now guys, I know you guys might be thinking, I'm not a turtleneck guy. I mean, because uh, turtlenecks have a, like a negative. Very. I mean, they're very like negative. I mean, they're very amateur. Like, you, I think of like Macaulay Culkin or Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs, or I mean, the geek, you know, or the kid. But yes. On the contrary, they're actually very cool and very stylish if you do it right. So today we're going to talk about how to wear a turtleneck, the right ways, the different types of turtlenecks, and uh, you know, some little outside the box turtleneck moves you can try and make and see if they go over well. All right guys, so the first thing you guys need to know is there are really three types of turtlenecks. So there's the very, very thin one, which is meant to be worn formally under suits and whatnot. There's the medium weight, which can go both ways, so you can wear it casually or still suited up. And then there's the roll neck, which is a very, very thick sweater that really you should only wear casually. So up first, we're gonna talk about the thin, the thin guy. Usually this is, you know, merino wool, cashmere, something a little bit, you know, sheer, but it's gonna keep you warm, but it's gonna look classy underneath a suit jacket. Yeah, so this is typically like a fine kind. This is supposed to take the place of the dress shirt. So if you would wear a tie and a dress shirt, you can skip that and just throw on that fine wool or that fine cotton uh, turtleneck. neck. And it's gonna look classy, it's gonna look sophisticated, and it's also gonna keep you warm. Right, I mean, I've honestly worn a turtleneck with a tuxedo actually at the Berlin Film Festival, because uh -huh. it was freezing. So, you know, I had the full blue turtleneck, uh, navy tuxedo with the black shawl collar, and went over perfectly. Yeah, I mean, typically for your more dressy or turtlenecks, you, you're, you're gonna wanna stick to like blacks, or e even white, but navies, and if you're you know bold, you can do like a like a like a rich purple, you know, like that a gray, bur burgundy, yeah, burgundy. Yeah, yeah, that or looks Bordeaux, very, Bordeaux, mm -hmm. Bordeaux, Merlot, yeah, whatever, any of the red a colors. wine color, yeah, the dark red wines, but they do look very very classy. So in the middle between the two is the kind of medium weight, thicker cotton turtleneck. Now you can go, you know, suit it up like Blake did with a blazer, or you can just wear it, you know, casually under a denim jacket, and it's gonna look good in either situation which is kind of like your workhorse of yeah. a turtleneck. So. so this is like those guys who are going on the, on, the, on the train or subway and have to go from their house, they have to walk to the train and, and they're just indoor, outdoor, indoor, outdoor. This is the type of turtleneck that you would wear. It's like, it's warm enough to keep you warm for short distances, but not long distance, right. if that makes sense. So today I'm trying like a new look, which is very popular in the UK and in uh, Europe, where you actually take your, your dress shirt, you, you still wear it and you layer it and then you pop it while you actually pop the collar. So it like sticks out just ever so slightly, you know? I, I don't know, as so far guys, I'm I'm like 50-50, you know, I like it. Like it doesn't bother me, but then it kind of does at the same time. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I saw you today and I was like, yeah, that's different. Yeah, I mean. But I mean, only time will tell. And if you guys never try anything new, you're going to be boring. So, you know, this is a good example of take some risks, try something new. If you don't like the look, don't ever wear it again. If it looks good to you, you know, rock it for a few months, see how it goes. And last but not least, guys, is the roll neck turtleneck, which is essentially like a very thick, warm sweater. It is built for heat, super thick. I mean, the collar, you know, makes it look like you kind of have a neck brace on. Yeah, it is. But, thick. you know, it's serving a purpose. And if you get a cool cable knit version of it, it's going to look interesting. It's typically also worn, like, if, if you go skiing, it's, it's that one turtleneck that you see everybody who's all chic with their ski gear. If you're an Aspen. Yeah, if you're an Aspen or anywhere like in, in Switzerland, you know, they right. have the big thick turtlenecks. It look, they, they, they look very cool. They're, they're super warm, but dude, they can be so uncomfortable at times. They're it's itchy. Like itchy, you're just hot, you're sweating, you know, like, I'm not the biggest fan of them. Yeah, I just, I mean, I, when I think of a roll neck, I think of a picture of a sailor on a boat with a white cable net one, <laughs> a pea coat yeah. over it and like the little, half hat beanie thing yep. that's maybe, like maybe that's, a little cigar a little cigar just, right you know? like the like the beard and papa <laughs> yes, yes. except switch out the raincoat for a pea coat exactly <laughs> all right guys that pretty much wraps up our turtleneck video remember guys your thin cashmere wool turtlenecks are meant to replace your dress shirts so you can wear them under suits very very formally um, your medium weight 
turtlenecks can be worn formally and casually, but you know, you kind of want to do a textured blazer and you know, try the collar thing out if you want to. Um, but not, you know, you're not going to crazy suit this, this guy up. So it's in between and then your roll neck sweaters are meant to keep you warm and stylish. So, you know, just throw a jacket on over those and don't try to suit them up. No. Um, thanks for watching guys. We really appreciate it. If you have not hit that subscribe button yet, hit that right now. If you haven't followed us on Instagram at Jens Lounge, follow us right now and uh, leave us a comment down below on which turtleneck style is your favorite. And if you are a turtleneck guy yet. All right, cheers guys. Cheers.